If you use Google Forms for quick assessments, you should know that Google's made it easy to give students individual feedback on their responses. Here, I have a sample two-question exit card created with Forms uh, with some student submissions that I'd like to provide feedback on. Even though I didn't set this form up as a quiz beforehand, it's not too late. To get started, I need to enable the quizzes feature in Forms. I'm going to start by clicking the settings icon, clicking on quizzes, and then changing the slider here to enable to make this a quiz. Then you need to set your quiz options as you see fit. I'm going to choose to release these at a later time, and then uncheck these additional options because I don't plan to use this for a grade, but rather to dipstick. When you're done, be sure to click Save. All right, so now that the quizzes feature is enabled, I can now set up my answer keys. First off, you're going to start by selecting the question. For me, question one. I want to do that. You should notice that answer key option that appears in the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to select the correct answer. For me, in this case, it's option B. You'll also note the option to assign point values and also add specific feedback for incorrect or correct answers. Uh, there's also even a link option to provide a link to a resource that might help clarify whether the, why the answer was correct or incorrect. For me, I'm just going to cancel for this time. And then once I'm done, I'm going to click on Edit Question to Exit. And I'm going to repeat this process for all the other questions that I have. Here's question two, which is a checkbox question. Click on Answer Key and then select the correct answers, and again, click on Edit Question to Exit. Please note that the ability to uh, add an answer key really only applies to multiple choice, drop-down, and checkbox questions. Um, if you want to do it for the others, that's just not possible at this time. Once I've added it to all of my questions, I'm ready to start reviewing my students' submissions and provide feedback. To see my students' responses to the exit card, I'm going to click the Responses option at the top of my form. The default view provides me with some aggregate data about my assessment, uh, anything from how students responded in general across the question types to whether or not I've actually uh, released their scores and notified them of the feedback. For now, I want to dig into the students' answers, so I'm going to choose to view them individually by choosing the Individual tab here at the top. The Individual view is going to show me the answers the students selected uh, and whether they were correct or incorrect. Here we can see with question one that we the correct answer was B. However, the student selected A, and that was incorrect. I want to take a minute here just to provide some quick feedback on these two questions for my student. So I can provide some text responses. And here in question two, the student got partial correct. And so I want to indicate that they're on the right track, but there's some other things that they should be considering. When I'm done, I'm going to click Save. And then now I can continue on, and I'm ready to review the next student's responses. I can either use this arrow here to navigate to the second student. There's also this handy-dandy drop-down menu to allow me to jump around if I don't want to go in order. When I'm done, I can share this feedback with the students by clicking the Release Score option. And what this will allow me to do is select the students to email and send scores to so that they can get that feedback and better understand what they did well and how they can improve. So I'm going to send my emails. And it's that simple. So hopefully you see how Google Forms can make it easy to grade and provide students with timely feedback. Thanks for watching.